hope you guys have enjoyed this place, because uh, we ain't coming back. <laughs> What's going on, guys? My name is Matt Omega, and welcome back to Let's Play Jack 2. In the last episode, we protected the underground hideout from a bunch of explosive robots. Uh, we also just up and raced Errol before the big race anyway, because, uh, well, we just so happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time, and uh, kind of pissed him off. <laughs> And we also went for our last venture into the strip mine to destroy a bunch of metalhead eggs, but not before repeating the exact same race against Errol and uh, somehow getting the gold, even though I should not have been able to finish that race because I missed a ring. I, I don't understand it either. <laughs> but in any case, next on the agenda is that Samos wants us to go out to Dead Town and revisit his old hut because there's something there that we need to go and get. So I'm going to meet you guys over by Dead Town. And that didn't sell off the guards. Sweet. I still crash into something, but at least uh, it's not as bad as it could have been. Except so it's starting off great. And here we are. Ah. Uh, we, uh. It's very inf infrequent uh, our visits to this place. Oh well. So, welcome back to Dead Town. Or, as we discovered last time we were here, um. What's left of Sand Over Village? And check that out. We have a new toy to play with. But before we do, there are a bunch of precursor orbs in this place that we were never able to get before. Now, we can. We have a jet board. <laughs> now, not over this way, I don't think. But um, there are eight orbs for us to get. Six of them we'll be getting without even starting the mission proper because uh, we have the jet board. So... Where is it that I'm looking? Oh, so there's plenty to explore around here now that we actually have this thing. And I just came around the same place. Under here? Yeah, under here. Here's one. I think there's two and three in here as well. And four. And five. And six. Actually, so I, I do think that's it. So we can actually start the mission now. <laughs> but uh, we now have over 200 precursor orbs, which uh, we're not even done, but that already nets us the final uh, secret here. Now, there's a bunch of stuff that's still, uh, still a secret to us, but we have unlocked Hero Mode. Which I'll be going over once we finish the game. It's essentially a form of New Game Plus, aka Hard Mode, but again, this is stuff I'll, uh, I'll be going into once we're actually finished. But in any case, now let's actually get on with the mission proper. This, ladies and gentlemen, is known as the Titan Suit. It's a mech that we walk around with and punch things. Well, more like just a uh, push with Valor. Oh, and punch. <laughs> but uh, also push with force <laughs> and Valor. Because, uh, cause why not? Anyway, we got some of this eco here. So, this is what we're going to be using to get to Samaris's hut. Now. We've uh, already been using square to bust through walls and attack enemies. We can use R1 to grab onto blocks like this and push them around. Like so. Now, I believe somewhere around here... There we are. I'm actually going to get out of the Titan suit, which we can do at any time by pressing a triangle. You should come back with the Titan suit to do this path. Shush. Whoop. Oh. We've got up there. I don't want to mess around, so Peacemaker it is. I said Peacemaker it is. Thank you. <laughs> Back to the Titan suit. Now, moving along this path here. So that leaves us one Under last precursor. <laughs> Thanks, Dax. I need one last precursor orb for us to get here. Now, where am I looking? Because 
The camera in this thing is always kind of looking down, which uh, is not ideal, really, but... Oh. Jump up. Let's see where I'm... Alright, so I guess I'm just putting... Wait a minute. I'm actually going to get out and get a good view of this place. Aha. Uh -huh. Come on. No, not working. That reaches. It's okay, Peacemaker. We'll make a lot of time for you later on. Trust me. <laughs> what is confusing me is just how balked the Peacemaker's lock-on seems to be since we got it. I don't think I've had this much trouble actually trying to hit things with this gun. It really is weird. Uh, can't really be sure. And I'm not sure I can actually chalk that up to my copy just being old, but just, you know, something in the, uh, in the lock-on of the Peacemaker being off. Given the way that it travels is a little more unorthodox, it's not a straight path, it kind of just, you know, it does its own thing while it's, you know, on its way. Anyway. Push this along. Oh, this way. God damn, there's another one. Titan suit, of course, does have its own health as well. Seriously? Okay, I really don't know what is going on with the Peacemaker's lock-on. I swear it's never been this bad. Anyway. So, that was our very last progress rule. And now I'm going to stay in the Titan suit because I'm one hit away from death. So, I'm just going to have the Titan suit take care of the rest. <laughs> Alright, knock down these pillars as well. You know, if I actually like to find Uh, thanks for the... Yeah, uh, kind of British accent, I guess, Dax. <laughs> and we're nearly there. Can't really see it very well, but that over there is, uh, same as the height. Some blocks we can just pick up like this. Very much decreasing our movement speed and jump height. But we are able to throw them. Very nice. Almost there. There's no more distractions. Here we go. Awesome. Alright, so. Let's see what Samus has been hiding. I spent many a day cleaning up this place for old Greeny. Before we came through the rift long ago, I was nurturing that life seed from the great tree. It seems the metalheads are attracted to its power. Take the seed to Onin now. She will prepare it for Samus. Y you mean you? Yeah, and I know the other me, Daxter. My younger self needs the seed's power to become sagely. So, let me get this straight. It's fair to say that by bringing your younger self the life seed now, we helped you become the sage you are today. We helped you get your powers in the first place. And you never thanked us? Thank you, Dexter. Now go do it! You know, I seriously think that I like young Samos more. And I mean way more. This he isn't a grouchy old fuck. <laughs> Alright, but that does it for our trip to Dead Town, and uh, once again, just like the trip mine, we're never coming back. So, now we have our precursor orbs, we've done pretty much the last thing required of this place. We're done. Yet another place that is completely cleaned out. So, of course, next on the agenda is to go and take the seed to Onan to prepare for young Samos, so he can, uh, well, as uh, old Samos has said, uh, become sagely. But, if I'm not mistaken, now that we've done that, we have another slime mission open for us. 
I think that's pretty much exactly where our very first one used to be, actually. And funnily enough, it's another ring challenge as well. So I don't even need to bring Azuma. I just feel like being on the jet board for some reason. I mean, this thing is fun. <laughs> ah. Love this jet board. Alright, let's do this. The next ring challenge will separate the men from the boys. Let's see if you can handle it. Separate the men from the boys, eh? Alright, let's do it. It has been a very long time since we did a ring challenge. Uh, should be interesting at the very least. You know, as long as I don't run into oncoming traffic or guards like I just did, like a idiot. Or go the completely wrong way. It's okay. Alright, I think I can salvage this. Come on. Oh, only just. Okay. <sighs> should be noted that when the clock hits zero, you still have a full second before you actually fail the mission. But, uh, even if you manage to hit the ring right on the dot of it, like, proper running out, you're still, uh, you're still out for the count. Can I just please stop running into... For fuck's sake! Alright. I don't know if I'm gonna find a good place to actually... S actually, never mind. Come on! God. <sighs> I was trying to reverse into that, but reversing in these things is kind of weird and... Don't run into anything. Don't run into any guards. Okay. So, I'm definitely doing better than last time at least. <laughs> but uh, what's going on in the story now is actually kind of interesting because uh, for pretty much the... Uh, I don't know if it's the first time, but we've actually got like a whole chain of quests going on like that just run into one another. Actually, I think this is the first time because normally what we do, even if our, our two missions were pretty closely related, uh, normally we do one mission and then you know go back to whoever gave it to us and then go on to another. But this one, with these, is just like linking like one into another like uh same Osh came out of the blue and said we need to go to dead town now we need to go to onan so we can go and find a uh, young samos later on which uh we'll be finding him after we've done that yeah it's like a just a chain of stuff without any back and forth it's a bit of a change of pace really oh god the ring was pointing this way why is it over here Do be careful during this one, because as we've seen, we've already been up on the walkways here. And uh, we are going to be up on them a little bit more. And some of it is going to require some potentially tricky jumps. Like that one. Yeah, it's another way for them to try and use the uh, mostly useless mechanic that is hopping. But hey, it's here. May as well use it. I just ran to another guard, didn't I? Yep. Where is it? 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 This way. Are we done? Don't think so. Oh, we are. Awesome. So, that's been done. But, uh, I am once again under the chase of the guards, so... Of course, uh, heroes work is never done. Even though we're not really a hero this time, again, which... Like, as, uh, as the PAL box says, uh, we are just a renegade, pretty much. But, uh, no more slide missions, so all that's left is for us to just head on over to Odin's hunt. So I'll see you guys there. Go away, these guys don't give up. It's alright. Clean the slate. Odin says, what took you so long? We had to skip lunch waiting for you, too. Ah, okay, okay. She really says, thank you for saving the live seed. But I wouldn't say that if I were her. Leave on in the seed, and she will prepare it for Samus. Mm. Back off, featherweight! Listen, Tiny Tail. I was leading my hundred flocks south before you had fur one between your legs. Not that your fur means anything. At least I'm not some overstuffed, over-yapping, feather-dusty mouthpiece for the world's oldest professional. Jack says, have a nice day. Jack says, I can't think on my own. Jack says, go bite yourself. That's it, rat boy. Now you've really pissed me off. Whoa! Knock it off, both of you. You're lucky I'm fat. 
vanished. Onan says take the energized life scene to young Samos in Haven Forest. It will give Samos the power he needs to finally see the forest from the trees. Go, quickly. Right, so it is time to make the young Samos sagely. I hope this doesn't make him become an immediate old grouchy fuck like yeah, Samos is. One of them's enough. Real? Okay. Not even a guard. Just some random guy who just chose at the last second not to get out of my way. How does that trigger the guards? <sighs> as much as I love this game, there are certain just, you know, there's little things that are kind of annoying. <laughs> anyway, Samus is in Harry Forest, so I'll see you guys there. You know, it's so weird. Just, I, I can hit pedestrians with a zoomer and the guards won't bat an eye. But as soon as it's with the jet board, oh no. No, that's what sets them off. I think I think these guards are racist against jet boards. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you can be racist against a uh, jet board, but, you know, they found a way. And, uh, not a fan. Not a fan. <laughs> anyway. Ah, uh, lovely Haven Forest. How I do love thee. So, Samos is pretty much at the very top of the cliff uh, through the tunnel up here. And I'm still pretty low on peacemaker ammo, aren't I? So I might have left myself at a bit of a disadvantage for this. Yeah, you know, I'm trying not to spoil what's coming up, but uh, anyway. What's in this? Dark Eco. Fantastic. Samos told me to. I mean, you told me to. Or, well, I mean, your older version. Uh, whatever. We heard you needed the life seat. Yes. Its power will help me speak to the planets. There he is! I see you. Jack, protect me from these guards. I must ask the plants vital questions about our future. Of course, they just couldn't leave well enough alone. Somehow, the guards knew we were here and are now ambushing us. Alright, time to give them what for. We have to protect Samos at all costs. And they'll be coming at us from both sides here, so do be on your guard. And as we saw in that cutscene, there are a few of them traveling by air as well, so do watch out for any jetpack goons, which I love oh so much. Like that. For these. How does the peacemaker keep missing? How? I seriously don't get it. What is making the peacemaker miss so much? The auto lock on has been so reliable up till now, and I've never had this much trouble hitting things with the Peacemaker. Just, what is it that's throwing everything off? There's only so much that plugging in a capture card can do, so. Where are you? Those jetpack guys are still around, aren't they? Yep. That's one. There's another. Oh, shit. Alright. Alright. Samus isn't taking too many hits. It can be easy to lose track of where everything is while you're trying to, you know, look at both sides and the sky and Samus all at once. So, this is. can potentially be one of the tougher uh, protect the guys kind of quest. done. Sweet. Alright. The life seed gave me a terrible vision. The Baron is planning to destroy the Precursor Stone. He aims to crack it open somehow. If he does this, the energy released will be beyond comprehension. It will destroy the world and more, ending all life. The plants are crying out for protection. You must stop the Baron, Jack. Stop him, however you can. 
All right, so another case of uh, just rich kids, instead of wanting to play with their toys, break them instead. <sighs> Where's the world coming to? Oh, looks like this time uh, breaking this toy is going to end in dire crisis. So apparently the Baron doesn't just want the Precursor Stone to become powerful. No, he's going to crack the damn thing open. And, uh, well, I think we've learned a fair few times by now that sometimes you just don't mess with Precursor shits. I mean, what the look at the last one did. It sent us however many years into the future and caused how much trouble? I mean, yikes. Well, anyway, at least now we know that we really need to double up the efforts on kicking the Baron's ass, because if we don't, well, literally everyone's going to die. So, just like that, we've been thrust into another save the world situation, except this time it's not, you know, oodles upon oodles of Dark Eco. No, it's just, it's a, it's a, well, for lack of a better description, it's a big bang. Hmm, and I don't exactly see anything being created out of this. And certainly not any TV shows, either. <laughs> anyway, now that's done. So, there's a couple of things waiting for us. There's something for the power station, and Bruta wants us for something. But, before we move on to any of those, once again, doing that mission has opened up a side mission for us here in the bazaar. So, I'll meet you guys by that monitor. And here we are. Now, this one is another ore punts. So, what you got for us, Torn? That one doesn't exactly leave us too much to go off on. Here's what we want to do. Go west one square and up two, and it will be in the southwest corner. So, it'll be right here. Cool. Now, since we're already here, may as well go see Bruder and see what he's up to. We haven't talked to the guy in a while, so let's see. Yep. Hey, bud. It's Brother Jack and his little origin pal. Like the totem I sees you. You helped lurkers once time. You help us too? Look, Bruder, we've got our own problems to deal with right now. But you know big to do ruckus, you cause a dig? I know all caves like Back of Claw. And Mars Tomb? Nowhere there. Now Metalheads find hidden lurker village in caves. They fight and hurt village real bad. And me lurker brothers trapped like animals. Uh, hello. They are animals. We're no longer evil lurking bats of bones, RG boy. We good now. Metalhead is a bat. They is enemy. Yeah, I guess we're all in the same boat now. And this ship is sinking fast, brother. Please, save six lurker brothers quick, and Bruno will kiss you foot. Well, I might have to pass up on the foot kissing there, Bruno, but, uh... Well, lurkers have not caused us any trouble, and, uh, it do seem as if they are reformed. And in a bit of a pinch, considering that they are the city of slave labor. So, sure, we'll help out. But uh, now the load's been doubled since last time, so we've got six to help out instead of the three. So the closest ones are the ones just above us, but those two down there are the most isolated, so I think I might head for those ones first. Now, luckily this time, if you're worried about having to backtrack all the way back to... Um, uh, Bruder's uh, trinket shop. Don't worry. In each of the areas in which we're actually going to find these captured lurkers, there are actually uh, these uh, sewer grates that we will be using to kill myself with. Okay. <laughs> that we'll actually be using to escort the lurkers back. So just like this, we're not actually going back to Bruder's trinket stand. There is a place down here for us to take them to. I think it leads to the sewers. I mean, it, I think it leads underground. I can't think of anywhere else it could go. Yeah, who knows what's down the sewers. Metalheads are in the sewers, but these things here. They're gonna hop in like that. So, next one is just up ahead. I'm gonna try not to hurt myself with this one. Get on, buddy. Alright. You know, like I was saying, this isn't the only one of these. We're not going to have to backtrack to the trinket stand for any of them. There is one of those in pretty much every section in which we can actually find um, these uh, 
uh, transports for the lurkers. So, assuming they haven't moved around too much, the next pair should be in the upper gardens. Which aren't too far away. Oop. Oop. Got... Well, I mean, I was going to stay on the guards' watch list because I'm shooting down their carriers anyway, so... I could pretty much run into as many as I want at this point. <laughs> so how far away is the next one? Again, it's best to get a two or three seater for these missions because you're probably going to be taking a bit of damage from the guards. Not so much from when you're fleeing, but more so when you're picking up and dropping off, they could always try and get a few shots in. Of course, if you're using just uh, regular uh, black zoomers, then uh, it's going to be faster, but you're not going to be able to take as many hits. I don't know it's obvious enough that um, the one and two seated zoomers already have different enough specs. I mean, one's, one's a motorbike, one's a car. What can you expect? Um, but uh, there is more to it than that. The three seated ones, just like this green, these green ones that we're passing right now, are actually slower than these two seated ones that I'm sitting in right now. And uh, they turn a lot worse, but they are the tankiest, whereas these are two seated are kind of in the middle. So, interesting to know that uh, although it looks like everything's just separating into blacks and cars, it's actually separating into three groups. One seed is two seeds and three seeders. So, far cry from just having just one kind of zoomer like we had in the original game, which is just a bike, which I was damn sure was the only one of its kind in existence. Alright, so you actually want to be careful with that transport we just shot down there because. Um, if the transport's too far over the water, the local will drop into the water and that will kill it, meaning an instant mission fail. So do be careful of that. Our next little uh, entrance is just over here, right next to a turret. Fantastic. The next transport's right here as well. Right, where's this thing flying? I need this thing to be over the ground. Like that. Alright, last one. That wasn't too bad. It didn't even take all that long. Uh, and that's it. Alright, let's get out of here. Well, that certainly is helpful. I mean, pretty much the more guys we have on our side, the better, and, well, lurkers, uh, I imagine lurkers would be, well, against the guards for one thing, because they're using them as slave labor, but also against the metalheads as well, as we heard from Brutus, so, I imagine they could be good allies if, uh, they get dra dragged into this. So, yeah. But, in any case, I think I've wasted enough time for one day, so I'm gonna end things off here. So, well, Things have definitely escalated once again. I mean, we went and got that seed from Samos' hut and uh, gave it to young Samos so he can uh, you know, become sagely like his old version, but uh, at the cost of learning some pretty bad stuff. I've got in the uh, we really need to take that Baron down now. But in any case, next time we're going to be kicking things off by heading over to the power station and seeing what it is that... Uh, well, at this point, it's either Vin or Core, so we'll see what they have for us. But in any case, thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, guys, my name is Man Omega, and I'll see you guys later. This is a nice garden.